Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. Now what you're looking at is actually my Linux box. Or not my Linux box, because um, it's actually the same computer I use to record my, my Windows screencast. So hopefully I'll be able to bring you some some Linux screencasts as well. Um, what I'm doing right now is just testing my FFmpeg G, whatever, crap, and yeah. And I'm just doing an X11 grab. And I'm grabbing my whole screen right now instead of just a small segment. And um, I have my audio recording at fairly the same amount of time, so things shouldn't be different. Um, and one of the things I'm using right now is um, Ubuntu um, 7.04, and uh, I'm, I'm enabling their little special effects thing. Um, so if I'm around this window, you can t see that it kind of drags around, but it lags my computer really bad because I'm using the X11 grab, which seems to really suck. Um, and yeah, so I can go ahead and switch my desktop around, and then if I wanted to see all my screens, I can go ahead and do that. I got a nice um, screen open, and yeah, it's, it's not too much. Um, it's a pretty cool feature. I, I obviously don't know how to use all of them. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you some screencasts for Linux. I'm not sure if that would be helpful since I know that I really don't need any uh, screencasts for Linux because I actually know how to use it. And um, yeah, I might. Another thing is, as um, if you see my desktop here, I got like a little black box. That's basically YouTube right there. And then I have all this big ass gray box. That's basically what I might start recording at and putting on my website. So. Yeah, because I, I tried recording at this spacer here, and it's fine for doing text, but when I tried to move it into a browser, I had to actually mash the browser onto here, or I had to move the browser around, and I have no idea what this box is, unless I actually mark my monitor with some kind of like marker, so I actually can actually like drag around saying, oh yeah, I want you to look at this piece. But yeah, it, drag it captures my mouse, my mouse and my audio. And if you notice, my audio is a little bit more better simply because I have to do post-process to enhance the the sound. Since on Windows I can use Mic Boost, but on, on this I can't. So I use Audacity or whatever it's called to do my Mic Boost. And yeah, I don't know. If you want to have a screencast on how to use what I'm using, I'll make one, but it's not even much to it. It's basically like you, you learn a few lines and you know, it's pretty much it. It's be, it'll be easier just to read on screen than actually listen and and then watch through a video. And that's pretty much it.